Hi there, I'm Black Bright broadcasting out the UK. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you're welcome to hit the um, subscribe button, like or share. My returning subscribers, thank you for passing through. Um, I don't know if any of you have seen this um, video going around talking about China seeks for the court approval to kill over 20,000 coronavirus patients to prevent it from spreading. I'm going to show you the video. Well, actually, it's just a voice, actually. Hold on. It's on YouTube. So let me just turn China it seek for court's approval to kill the over 20,000 coronavirus patients to avoid further spread. The highest level of court in China, Supreme People's Court, is expected to give an approval on Friday for the mass killing of coronavirus patients in China as sure means of controlling the spread of the deadly virus. The state tells the court that China is on the verge of losing its health workers to coronavirus as at least 20 health workers contract the virus daily. The state argues that coronavirus patients admitted at hospitals only have their deaths delayed and infect many others while receiving care at the hospital. China has been under criticism for human rights violations and organizations have questioned China's approach in dealing with the coronavirus outbreak and it is believed the country has already killed many of its coronavirus patients. The state mentioned in a document to the court that the country may lose its entire citizens if the few affected patients do not sacrifice their lives to save health workers and a billion others as there is no hope in sight in the fight against the virus. The World Health Organization, WHO, has said it needs one billion dollars to fight coronavirus outside China. Countries around the world are starting to cut ties with China and pull their citizens out of the crisis hit Hubei region, where the virus emerged in the city of Wuhan. Hong Kong's leader today held a press conference during which she wore a face mask and said the city would stop all high-speed trains and ferries to the mainland, have the number of flights and stop giving visas to visitors from China. Thirteen cases around the world have confirmed the coronavirus as spreading from person to person outside of China among people who have not visited the country. This is still unconfirmed. Please like and subscribe us and don't forget... Can you imagine? China is supposed to be killing 20,000 people with the virus. Is that the way to solve it? Well, I'm sure you probably know it's fake news. It's not true. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, uh, on February the 5th, 2020, the website AB-TC, a.k.a. City News, published an article that claimed Chinese officials were seeking approval from the Supreme People's Court to start the mass killing of 20,000 people infected with the new coronavirus in an attempt to contain the disease. Um, anytime I hear those videos with that kind of funny voice, I'm always a bit sceptical. Some of them are quite legit, but anyway, China seeks for court approval to kill the over 20,000 coronavirus patients to avoid further spread of the virus. Uh, this is just what that was saying. I'm just repeating it. The highest level of court in China, Supreme People's Court, is expected to give an approval on Friday for the mass killing of coronavirus patients in China as a sure means of controlling the spread of the deadly virus. The state tells the court that China is on the verge of losing its health workers to coronavirus as at least 20 health workers contracted the virus daily. Now, can you imagine that going around? It really isn't funny at all. So anyway, um, there's this website called Snopes that lets you know whether or not it's fake or real news. 
and they say it's not a genuine news report, while the ABTC website does not carry any disclaimers labelling its content as fiction. We found a number of red flags concerning the legitimacy of this outlet reporting. The website has also published hoax articles about cannibal restaurants, debunked here, doctors' tweets from U.S. President Donald Trump and a junk news article that falsely claimed Prince Andrew had committed suicide. On the 30th of January 2020, a website called City News published an article titled Breaking News. Singapore records six small coronavirus cases, totaling of 16 now, claiming that five Singaporeans have contracted the Wuhan coronavirus without going to China. These are the kind of news reports that it's going on. I just think, haven't people got anything better to do than to create these kind of um, forwards to make people scared or, you know, and these things get spread around. Anyway, in addition to its history of pushing misinformation, there are also a few red flags in ABTC's article about the mass killing of coronavirus patients. For instance, like most of the other articles on this website, this article contains no links back to supporting evidence, even when the article mentions secondary sources, such as a document or a press conference, they provide no evidence to show that these items actually exist or took place. The article is also suspiciously void of specifics. AB-TC reports that the state or the court or an official made a statement, but it doesn't provide any direct quotes or names in the report. Lastly, no credible news outlets have published reports containing this claim. The New York Times reported on the February the 6th, 2020, that senior official in China ordered the authorities in, in the city of Wuhan to immediately round up all residents who had been infected with the coronavirus and place them in isolation, quarantine or designated hospitals. That report, of course, made no mention of mass killings. China is forging ahead in the search for treatments for people sickened by the new coronavirus that has infected more than 28,000 people in the country-wide epidemic, killed more than 500 and seeded smaller outbreaks in 24 other nations. There are no approved treatments for the illnesses caused by the coronavirus, although some videos are going around suggesting that garlic can cure it. On Thursday, China began enrolling patients in a clinical trial of Remdesivir, an antiviral medicine made by Gilead, the American pharmaceutical giant. The drug has to be given intravenously is experimental and not yet approved for any use and has not been studied in patients with any coronavirus disease. But studies of infected mice and monkeys have suggested that remdesivir can fight the coronavirus. And it appears to be safe. It was tested without ill effects in Ebola patients, although it did not work well against that virus, which is in a different family from the coronaviruses. Doctors in Washington state gave the remdesivir to the first coronavirus patient in the United States last week after his condition worsened and pneumonia developed when he'd been in the hospital for a week. His symptoms improved the next day. So that's a good sign. So, we all, so just a few basic things. What is the coronavirus? It is a novel virus named for the crown-like spikes that protrude from its surface. The coronavirus can infect both animals and people and can cause a range of respiratory illnesses from the common cold to more dangerous conditions like severe acute respiratory syndrome or SARS. How contagious is the virus? According to preliminary research, it seems moderately infectious, similar to SARS and is possibly transmitted through the air. Scientists have estimated that each infected person could spread it to somewhere between 1.5 and 3.5 people without effective containment measures. Where has the virus spread? The virus originated in Wuhan, China and has sickened tens of thousands of people in China and at least two dozen other countries.
How worried should I be? Well, the virus is a serious public health concern. The risk to most people outside China remains very low and seasonal flu is a more immediate threat. Who is working to contain the virus? The World Health Organization officials have praised China's aggressive response to the virus by closing transportation, schools and markets. This week, a team of experts from WHO arrived in Beijing to offer assistance. What if I'm travelling? The United States and Australia are temporarily denying entry to non-citizens who recently travelled to China and several airlines have cancelled flights. How do I keep myself and others safe? Washing your hands frequently is the most important thing you can do along with staying at home when you're sick. A single case cannot determine whether a drug works, but a report on the Washington patient in the New England Journal of Medicine has nonetheless sparked excitement about the drug. Another report published on Tuesday by scientists in China added to the enthusiasm, showing that Remdesivir blocked the new coronavirus, officially known as 2019-N, capital C, little o, capital V, from infecting cells grown in the lab. The patients will be given the drug intravenously for 10 days and then assessed 28 days after the treatment to see how they fared compared to the placebo groups. If the drug works, will Gilead be able to provide enough for everyone who needs it? In its statement, the Virology Institute said it would not exercise its patent rights if relevant foreign companies intend to contribute to the prevention and control of China's epidemic. The report from China published last Tuesday about remdesivir also found that chlor chloroquine, a cheap drug used for, for decades to treat malaria, could also fight the new coronavirus. Researchers are recommending that it is also studied along with various antiviral medications, including some of the ones used to treat HIV. And so that's it, really. I just wanted to make sure that if you came across that video that said China is going to be killing 20,000 coronavirus patients, you took it with a pinch of salt. And that's all for now. Have a wonderful evening.